So my name is Stan Andrews and uh, I'm 34 years old and I was born with uh, the condition which at that stage I didn't know what it was but very similar to uh, fibula hemimelia where I had an underdeveloped and undersized uh, foot with a leg that was also undergrowthed. Certain things I had to deal with when I was growing up was uh, obviously as a child being teased, being you know looked at differently. Every other kid that is the same sort of age as yourself, they look at you differently. They want to know why you don't have a proper leg, why you're only half a guy. I used to, I used to hate going shopping with my mom and dad because people, adults and kids, would you know they, they, they'd stare. And that's the one thing I say to people nowadays: is don't stare. Come up and ask me. Ask me what's wrong and ask me to show you. I'd rather show you than you, you stare at me like there's something wrong with me. And you know, luckily it's become that now, at the age that I am at the moment, I'm now the cool guy with the transformer legs, so it all pans out good in the end. What motivated me about, about the three goals that I set for myself was uh, two years ago I said to myself I'm obviously not doing enough and so I decided to set myself three goals, a, a small, medium and large. The small me being swimming the mid mile mile, the medium being cycling the momentum 94.7 cycle challenge and the large of course being Kilimanjaro, uh, primarily because I'd been challenged years ago and was told that I wouldn't be able to do it because I don't have two legs. And uh, yeah, last year saw me complete all three of them and actually, funny enough, in reverse, I climbed Kilimanjaro, then did the cycle, then did the swim and what that has left me with is that this year I sit here and I say to myself, well, what more can I do? So there's much bigger things coming. When I decided that I was going to climb Kilimanjaro, you know, one of the first things I thought about was, I know I can do it and I always wondered whether my prosthetic would be good enough. And I had a good chat with my prosthetist Marco as well and, you know, he showed me the spectrum of, of feet that were available and we tried a couple. The foot that I eventually chose to, to help me get to the summit of the world's highest freestanding mountain was the Voriflex uh, XC from Ossa. And I must tell you, you know, when you talk about a foot and an energy return foot, this is probably one of the top and top of the range. Uh, we were very worried ab about, you know, would it be durable, would it last, would it be flexible enough. And let me tell you, the energy return, the, the smooth heel transfer, the way you walk, it's, you know, it feels like you walk on marshmallows, that's how comfortable it is. So, yeah, it's, it's really impressive. As I climbed Kilimanjaro, you know, one of my worries were that, that you know, is this foot going to last? We ended up taking a spare foot, uh, just in case, because you'd hate to be stranded on the mountain. And one of my biggest surprises was, yes, I mean, the terrain that we covered, you know, the up and down over rocks and we traversed up high, down low, uneven surfaces, all sorts of things and you know I'm not one to take it easy so I was jumping up and down being a bit of a you know adventurer and one of my biggest worries was you know is this foot going to be able to withstand what I can give it to it because you know that's something that I always put forward to anybody who manufactures prosthetic parts is give it to me and I'll try break it and well so far it's been almost a year and I haven't even broken this foot you know so it, it really is a super duper foot. What I've also realized with, with the, the Ossa Veriflex XC is that it's not just a foot that, that has a single purpose. Um, I like to live my life to extreme, so whether it be me shopping with my family or whether it be me scaling one of the world's highest freestanding mountains and everything in between such as jogging, golfing, cycling, running, you know, anything, this foot just adapts to whatever I want it to do. So whether it be I want to take a slow pace and go downstairs, it adapts to me. Whether it means I'm traversing up rough terrain up, up a mountain, you know, it, it really is just impressive, it just, it just adapts and it has such a diverse capability of, of you know, what it can do. If there's one thing I do live life um, is, is the same motto that Ossa lives by and that's living without limitations. There's nothing that I can't do, there's nothing that I won't try at least, you know, 140 times before I give up on it. I've never given up on anything. Life isn't supposed to have limitations, life is what you make it, so live it. In a blessed name.